Welcome to the Post-Secondary Data Partnership PDP video tutorial. This video will provide instructions on how to certify a data submission using the Manage Submissions page. This functionality is used by an organization that is submitting data. This provides an organization the ability to indicate that their data submission is complete and that the PDP application can further process their data. To manage submissions, log into the application and start on the main PDP web page, which is the file submission summary page. This page shows you the status of all files that were submitted to the PDP. Assuming you have submitted all of your expected files for a given submission period, and you have rejected any that you did not want considered for reporting, you would then click on the Manage Submissions navigation button to begin the certification process. Once you navigate to the Manage Submissions page, please note that the only action available to you is to certify submissions. Your organization's identifier is also automatically populated, and the submission window is also defaulted. None of these values at the top can be changed. The page automatically loads your data files. Um, you therefore don't need to hit the Search or Reset button although if you do, it'll simply refresh the data table. Note how the data table automatically loads all of the files submitted during a submission window that pass data validations. Please note that any rejected files will not be considered for certification. On this page, you can also view the cumulative metadata for all of the files um, considered for certification. In this case, all of the files only have um, cohort data from 2015-16, as well as course metadata from 2011-12 um, for a given term, which you can see in both cases. And then for one metadata table, for the cohort data, you see the student count. And for the courses, you see the course count. Notice that you can also click on an individual file to see the metadata that's contained in just that single file. Again, the submission summary metadata tables provide you um, the range and count of students or courses for all of the files that are considered for certification. By utilizing these tables, you will be able to confirm that the cohort and academic years and terms found in the data files meet your expectations. Once you've reviewed the summary data and are ready to proceed, you would then click on the Certify button on the bottom left of the web page. The application will then provide a confirmation prompt. And please note that you can only certify once per submission window. If you certify and later realize that additional files are needed or that you need to make some change to the files that you did certify already, please contact us directly to make those changes. Once you um, confirm the prompt and you continue with certification, you will then receive an acknowledgement that provides you the number of the, of the submission numbers of the files that you just certified. At this point, you'll notice in the background that the page has also refreshed and that the data table is empty. At this point, you can navigate back to the uh, file submission summary page. And here, you'll notice that the previous data status was passed for the file. If you click the reset or search button, the data table will refresh and you will notice that your data files are now certified. This covers the Certify Topic video tutorial.